Imagine smashing a baby's head with a knife and then grabbing the legs of the dead baby out of the mother. That is one method of second trimester abortion. Abortion in the U.S. is a common practice. In 2008, one million abortions took place. The abortion trend is slightly decreasing, but in my opinion, not enough. The states with the highest abortions are Florida and New York. Abortion has become so common that women surveyed didn't even know it was ever illegal. It is wrong because it has unsafe procedures, it's expensive, and it hurts our future economy. Not only is abortion hurtful, but uh, the laws are hypocritical. When I surveyed the majority of my classmates about abortion, they responded pro-abortion and stated they were pro-Obama. I disagree with the majority of my classmates and I hope I can change your mind. I'm disappointed with Obama's inability to acknowledge the civil rights lost to infants due to abortion. I believe mothers in our society have been deceived by selfishness, adoption, and keeping the baby, and, adopt and adoption are better options. Teenage girls make up the majority of people that commit abortion, um, according to author Zernicki. Uh, 1.3 million abortions took place in the, the country, and they're from girls that were never married. Um, teenagers abort because they face pressures from their families to abort and want to achieve better jobs in college. The most common race to abort is African American women and Black, Hispanic, and Hispanic women. This is due to the fact they live underneath the poverty line. Um, this is because, also, a lot of abortions are first trimester abortions, and they're more, they tend to be more expensive because there's a lack of an abortion provider and a delay in the confirmation of pregnancy. Um, there are many um, unwise procedures about abortion. Um, the most common procedure for abortion is first trimester suction which involves opening the vaginal cervix and removing the fetus entirely. Another method for first trimester abortion is using a combination of a brand of medicines called mifepristone and methotrate. Methotrate causes uterine contractions and increases the effect of mifepristone about 90%. For second and third trimester abortions, dilation and curettage are used, which is similar to suction except with the introduction of a long-shaped knife that scrapes the placenta away from the uterus. In some horrible second trimester abortions, medicine is given to make the woman's water break. Um, then after the water breaks, the fetus is rotated and the forceps are used to grab the legs, shoulders, and arms of the baby through the birth canal. The skull is decompressed with suction um, and until it collapses, killing the baby. So as you can see, the baby is being pulled out. Um, suction, it's sucking the brain out and then the baby collapses and then it's just completely removed from the vagina. Um, abortions can cause severe complications from, for the mother, such as cervical tearing from the instruments, scarring of the uterine lining, um, uh, infection, hemorrhage, anesthesia toxicity resulting in convulsions or death, retained tissue indicated by cramping and bleeding, blood clots in the uterus, and future infertility, infertility and miscarriages. Many young women experience guilt after the abortion and suicide rates amongst young women increase. Additionally, being, uh, having unsafe procedures, abortion is also very um, economically expensive. Surgical abortions are less costly than medical abortions. The cost of an abortion procedure, depending on the surgeon, can range from $300 to $1,000. Um, medical expense, medical supplies is expensive as well, contributing to the cost. Overall, abortions each year cost the state $19 million, and they cost the U.S. $41 trillion overall. The expense of human life due to abortion will undermine America's future growth. Because, think about it, the more babies you are killing, the less people you have working for the economy. Thus, this gives into more abortions and uh, less people working for the economy, uh, doesn't support our economy as well. Um, women should not choose abortion because evidence shows the fetus can, has, can hear and has a fully beating heart and a complete brain, although not like ours, and is a relatively human form. In fact, the fetus can feel pain at eight weeks and has the ability to suck on his or her um, own thumb. They are sensitive to light, sound, and touch. The embryo and fetus are a human being at earliest stage of development. So when one is killing the fetus, um, 
one is killing a human species such as ourselves. Another reason abortion should be outlined, outlawed is because there is a horrible case in 1969 with a pregnant woman named Teresa Keeler. Her ex-husband beat her and the fetus inside her belly. The California state law um, to dismiss murder charges due to the fact the law states the fetus is not a human being. The point of this case is it provides a logical reasoning. So why would you if um, charge the man who beat the woman's belly, but wouldn't charge her when she would just get an abortion? In conclusion, abortion is wrong because it's dangerous to the mother, because it's dangerous to the mom and baby, it's killing innocent fetus, it's damaging to the economy, and it's very hypocritical. Although unborn minds and affairs and all their dreams have never existed, abortion is unfair to the unborn child because it makes a decision for them. Thank you.